I remember like going down and the whole building got quiet and I, I was just thinking in my head like this crazy man you feel me I really was just like I looked at my ankle and was like man this, this can't be real ain't no way eventually like I just came to the realization yeah it happened and then I just just prayed to God while I was on the floor just hoping like that I come back from this like whole time I kept telling myself it's a minor setback for me to come back so I just kept my head up everybody just kept telling me the same thing like everything happened for a reason keep your head up shoe it's all right trail and I was just like I wouldn't I wouldn't even respond I was kind of like in a I was kind of in this like this little my own little zone with myself like the whole entire day whole entire night I wasn't, I wasn't really talking. I was kind of just staying to myself. I remember being on the floor, and I remember like saying to God, you say you'll never leave me nor forsake me. And it kind of, that kind of brought me to, to like tears or whatever. But like, for the most part, I did, I did keep my head up. And, and I think I handled it well. I remember being on the, another moment. I remember being on the floor was when my teammate dad came over there and, and he had his phone with him, and I and I grabbed it. So I asked him, "Can I can I use his phone?" He said, "Yeah, you can." And I started. I started. I went. I went to YouTube and I typed in gospel song. And the whole time I was on the phone, I just I kept listening to this song called "Worth Saving." It was like you thought I was worth saving, and that kind of, that kind of like, that kind of kept me, kept me in a, a good place with God. I felt comfortable. I felt like He was there for His presence. But I know for a fact that when I come back, like, people gonna hate me. People gonna love me. Eyes gonna open. Some might shut. At the end of the day, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Cause I ain't gonna never give up on myself. I feel like, I feel like I am the best guard in the country. Or I will be at that, and I don't think there's there's nobody there's nobody out there that can stop me from from achieving that goal. And, and whoever whoever whoever's out there who feel like they can, they got a rude awakening. And that's all I'm gonna say. The comeback will be real. I'm playing basketball, so, you know, that's what he want to do is play defense, you know, hustle. So, you know, he going to give you a bucket when he... When I first met him, we just clicked instantly. Bro, just cool, you know what I'm saying, calm, God person. Defense is, is, is his thing, so, I mean, hustle. He all on that, he all over the floor. You know, I love playing with him. So. He don't stop, keep going. He, he, he just a good player, man, on and off the court. He a guy... You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just excited to play with him. So I'm ready for the season. He's the best player I've played with so far, you know, on my first year at Legacy. And I'm looking forward to him to leading us to a national championship. For DeAndre, because uh, when I was uh, um, when I was about four months, he was like three months. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really get the, I didn't really get to like remember him like as envision, like I can envision him in my head. But I, I see my pictures and like, you know, he's my brother, so like I, I miss him. You know what I'm saying? Like I can always feel that connection between me and him. He uh, passed away at, at for three months, and it it kind of bothered, it bothered me. Like now, now that I look back on it, it bothered me because I wish I would have like knew my brother. When my brother DeAndre passed away, that um, I was like her comfort. Like when he passed away, 
she she it, me being with her kind of comfort her and took away the pain as much as much as it could. And I remember she telling me that while we were at the funeral, I was crying a lot, but I, I obviously I was I was too young, so I couldn't remember like okay my brother died, but she said. It was it was like a weird feeling because I was crying all day that day at the funeral and it kind of it kind of just gave me that connection with him. It's like that's my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's our connection. I, it didn't. It took me a while to 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 believe that I actually that I actually like broke something. Like, cause me the relationship me and God have we close, and I never thought something like that had happened to me. But people kept telling me that um, it was a, a, a minor setback for a major comeback. So I just I eventually just kept 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 my head up and kept believing. But I know for a fact that that when I come back. I was gonna kill, and I got I got vengeance, and I'm hungry for it. I know that it's gonna get real when I come back. Are you ready for him to come back? Oh my gosh, are you really going to kill me? 
Yeah. <laughs> that I love Don Trail. Don Trail is a fine young man. He's one of the best students here. <laughs> <laughs> Ask his teachers. Yeah, yeah. Student on the court and off the court. Well, um, Don, I just met Don Trail last year. It was it was his first year here at Legacy, and just in the short time that I've known Don Trail, he's really focused. Um, his faith is what guides him. He's determined, and um, he knows what he wants. And he said, his whatever goals he set, he he tries to achieve. Was I supposed to be arching my feet while I was still sleeping? I was like, it's still a little swollen, and I was like, and it can be swollen for all year. I think my doctor just cleared me to play. She said it's like up to me and my trainer, depending on uh, if I do good on the running test or not. But I think I think I, I should be uh, ready. Um, right now, it's just me talking to my trainer to see what's gonna happen. Right here, you know, TV, all that 
Yeah, just, I hate to talk crazy stuff, shit, all that. What I'm saying? We just got, we just got the house, so we ain't really got too much of everything in here. Just a little bit of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up. Then we got a little, little pet turtle. You know what I'm saying? He is the epitome of a guy, that little brother, that friend, um, just that person that like they have something to prove to. Not just himself, but the entire world. Um, his mind is so intriguing. Um, he's serious. He's focused. Just the way he operate in his life um, is very interesting. Um, Don, Don Charlie is just a passionate guy. He's a nitty gritty person. He's very humble, but at the same time, he stay hungry. Uh, when it comes to the family, you would think he's a big brother. The way he reaches out and tell everyone um, that he love he love him. He's always trying to get a hug, trying to sneak in a kiss with um, my sister and I. He, he just he he's just a great guy. He's a, he's a, he's a great brother. He's a great dude, great friend, um, awesome son. He he just. He does everything. What separates Don Trell from other basketball players? His 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 mindset of willing to work more, willing to work harder. Don Trell will work to the time you turn the lights on, to the time you turn them off, and he's going to continue working while they're still off until it's time to turn them back on again. He has a motor that has no off button. He stay cranked up. Back then. A small fry and what else? In a number 11. Okay. You went to school. Pulled up to uh, Fry's Gate. Um, neighborhood I was raised up in. This is like me and my family grew up playing at this gym a lot. And I'm about to get a little workout out of with my sister. School get out, it's lit. That's how far it's lit around here.
This doobie the cameraman. <laughs> My definition of bucks is just, you know what I'm saying, facilitate, score, so serious. rebound, so so serious. just in about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, about 17, 17 with 10 assists, Ooh. 12 rebounds, Ooh. that's bucks, that's bucks, that. that's bucks. this year and how the season would go with them? I feel like uh, see with the team we have, we, we got the we got a lot of a lot of talent. We got we got the like, ability to do a lot of a lot of big things with the team that we got. Um, we got a lot of a lot of good pieces. We we surround like our our key is around what we do in practice the most is, is defense. We feel like defense is is the most important thing to win a game. So that's what that's what coach that's what he's on hard every every practice. Every game, that's what you see him screaming defense. That's the, everything that, that's what we, that's what our key is. That's what our strength is. We feel like that's how we go in our games. Defense deflections, going to the other end. And we're we're a fast team. We can get at, we, we get up and down the court. So that's gonna be a plus for us. And how how do you think the schedule will affect you? Because you guys play so many games being in charter school. 
I feel like we got a we got a good schedule. Um, I feel like the schedule that we have, like you saying, like how's it gonna affect me personally? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't really, I don't really think it's gonna affect me. Like personally, I feel like I'm gonna be prepared every game. I feel like I'm not, I'm not gonna go into a game if I don't feel like I'm gonna be ready for it. So, but I know I'm gonna be ready for every game. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be alright for every game. And what's the difference between this year and last year? We the team that the team that we had last year were a lot bigger, but the team that we got this year we're, we're a lot faster, quicker. So we can get up. We and we play a lot. We play a lot more better on one ball defense than this year. So what what we're capable of doing up and down the court, running back and forth, and getting deflections. We, that's the difference between our team this year and our team last year. Contribution to the team this year will be different or similar than last year. Um, I feel like my contribution between the two years. Last year it was more of a of a like a more of a role where I had to kind of see what kind of fit in what, what my team was doing. Um, played a lot more defense. I played a lot more defense, more getting my teammates involved uh, this year than anything because I'm the point guard this year. Last year it was shooting guard, so it was more people getting me involved. We getting we all getting each other involved this year is more of I feel like coach. Coach, um, coach has t set, uh, sat me down, told me that he needed me to uh, be a, more of a scorer, more of a more of a contributor to the um, defensive end, deflections and stuff, and being a, a a bigger, better leader. Your role changed, so do you think that it'll be equivalent or better this year or last year than last year? Uh, I feel like my my contribution with the team this year would be a lot better than last year. I feel like I can, I know, I know that coach want me to do more. Last year we had a lot of people who were able to do a lot more things. This year we're a little undersized, so in a, a little like we don't have the, we have pieces to do to do to do good things. But now that I'm the point guard, he needs me to do a lot more things than I did last year. So I feel like this year. I'm